So, what God cannot do does not exist. In 2020, I joined an SPPD, but I was not really consistent because I felt the testimonies are too good to be true. Like, I felt they, they, they are arranged. Like, how can that multitude multitude of people keep giving testimonies so come 2023 i was just like i need i need to join i need to i need to start praying i need to intensify my prayer life so i joined around i joined back around july 2016 i had an ovarian cyst surgery my right ovary has been removed and from since then i've been having different medical, medical complications it, uh, it has just been coming up to just tell me I have this tomorrow, I have this today. To today. So when I, I went to the GP, I booked an appointment, I went to the GP, I, my, I was I was, I was scheduled for a blood test and ultrasound. Then I did the ultrasound, I did blood test, they were like, oh, you have endometriosis, you have fibroid, you have ovarian cyst. Uh, meanwhile, I have just one ovary left. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. But I kept, I kept praying. I believe I'm on the altar of fire. One thing I used to do is, when when we are praying, and Pastor Terry would say, "Tear all the negativity. Bring that in out. Get ready. Bring that in out. That you know that you know you don't want to. You want to. You don't want to see again. You want to. You want to end. I'll bring out all the test results that I've been doing. All the blood tests, all the ultrasound. Those are my prayer requests. I don't write. Then after." After praying, Pastor would tell, would tell us to tear it off. I tear it off, I step on it, I, try, I throw them in the pains. All my test results, that's what I have been doing. I don't want to keep them and start remembering this is what I have in my house. Then I remember this lady's testimony. I think she's from Portacot or somewhere in Nigeria. She she had she had a surgery where one of her ovaries was, was removed. And, and I was like, oh, God, that did this can do my also. Then I kept praying, I kept believing, I kept believing that one day God will put my words in Pastor Jerry's mouth. Pastor Jerry is going to speak about me. Yeah, he has been saying, Pastor Jerry has been saying uh, endometriosis, fibroid, ovarian cyst, but not the way I used to call it. You know, there's a particular way I used to arrange those words when I am on the altar of fire, when I am praying. Like, I used to call it like, okay, I, uh, I used to call it fibroid, endometriosis, and ovarian, ovarian cyst. That's the way I used to arrange it. Then comes January 20. 2024, I think on the 17th, Pastor Jerry was like, uh, God is reversing fibroid endometriosis and ovarian cyst. Whether you are fibroid, endometriosis, ovarian cyst, abalaka, the Lord said, I am rolling away. Fibroid, ovarian cyst, endometriosis, rabata, by the power that raises us from the dead. I am out, let me roll away. I was just like, oh, that is me. That is just the way I used to, I used to arrange it. Finally, God spoke about me through Pastor Jerry. I said, oh, I, I claimed it, I shouted, and I felt, I felt relieved. Uh, then I was scheduled for an ultrasound. I didn't even know how, how I have been scheduled. I was called from, from the GP that I have an ultrasound then. I couldn't go because I, because I was at work. So I had to, I had to reschedule re for another day. Then the following day, I went, I went for the, for the, ultrasound and the sonographer was like oh you have to you have to take enough water you have to take enough water it's it, it is meant to be a trans vagina or is is a guy and he can't do he can't do it for me so uh, he, he's going to do it the normal the normal way i said okay that's fine so i took enough water immediately i got there i was like oh what happened you're fine i can see your ovaries <laughs> pastor jerry ovaries me me ovaries 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 me that used to have one ovaries he said i can see your right ovary i can see your left ovary no fibroid nothing what, what did they say happen why did they say you have fibroid why did they say you have all these things i said i don't know i kept quiet immediately i stepped out of the hospital ha, i was just like a mad woman. Pastor Jerry, I want to thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. What God can do does not exist.